In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a three-dimensional cell. So you can see that the background of the cell is a basic round disk, and then the individual organelles are raised above it. You've got your nucleus, some rough ER, smooth ER, uh, mitochondria, Golgi body, and you can add other shapes as needed. So start by creating a new file, and we're going to make a sketch. Go down to circle, center diameter circle, and click on the bottom plane. Click on the center point, drag out, and let's make our cell approximately five inches. Click to finish the circle. Now you can draw some more circles into this shape. So let's draw another circle for our nucleus, and then an even smaller circle for our nucleolus. You can add a couple additional circles if you want to show some vacuoles or lysosomes. Once you're done with circles, you can pick a couple of other shapes as well. So let's say you want to use a rectangle to show the centriole. You could do something like that. You could also use it to make cytoskeleton. Just be careful because if you make it really, really thin, it won't extrude that nicely. Once you've drawn your basic shapes, you're ready to draw freehand. You can use the line tool and zoom in on your figure. The line tool allows you to draw small, straight lines. And basically, you just keep drawing until you're done with your figure. And you have to connect it back to that original dot to close the shape. Notice, though, that when you do this, the shape is kind of jagged. So if you want smoother lines, you can use the spline tool. And with the spline tool, it's the same idea, but you get curved lines instead. So that could be great for something like your smooth and rough ER. Just make sure that you do close the figure because you cannot create a three-dimensional shape out of a line. It has to be a completely enclosed figure like that. Once you've drawn all the shapes that you like, you have to go to Stop Sketch. You can also go to Stop Sketch up here. And now you're ready to make it three-dimensional. So click on Modify, press Pull, and you can select this background, which is the back of the cell with the cell membrane and the cytoplasm. You have to give it a distance, which is how much you're going to make it extrude. Let's start with 0.5 inches. And so now you can already tell you have a three-dimensional shape, but right now the organelles are holes. So to make the organelles also extrude, you're going to need to um, select them as well. So go back to the sketch down here, right click, Edit Sketch, Modify Press Pull again, and this time click on a different part. So let's click on our nucleus and some of these vacuoles. We're going to make those raise up a little bit higher, so go with 0.2 inches. Okay, so that's starting to look nice. And then we're going to make the rest of them even taller. So again, click on the sketch, right click, Edit Sketch, Modify Press Pull, and let's pick those last couple shapes that had not been extruded before. Notice that when you select them, I have to be careful, when you select them they turn blue, and it tells you how many is selected right there. So I'm going to select those four. These I'm going to make 0 0.25. Okay, and now we're almost done. The only thing left is that smoothie R right there. So one last time, edit sketch, modify press pull, click on these two shapes, and we're going to make those 0.3. If you wanted to add additional shapes to an existing figure like this, you can still do that. You could click on sketch, create sketch, and click on the surface of your cell. This allows you to draw some more figures. So for example, I could draw an ellipse this time to make my mitochondria. Last time I forgot the mitochondria. And just like before, stop the sketch, then do modify, press pull. I can click on those two figures and I'm gonna raise them only, let's see, point two. Yeah, that looks great. 
If you're unhappy with any part of your cell, you can always go back and edit it. Just go down here, right click, edit the feature, and you can change the dimensions to anything you want. So all of them appear down here at the bottom.